What's going on, everybody? Future DDS family. Welcome to another installment of the Future DDS Dental School Experience Series, where today we have Caitlin Edson from University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry joining us. Caitlin, thanks for taking some time out, you know, amidst of everything that's going on right now to speak with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Terrell. I'm really excited about what you guys are doing, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Man, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, First, you know, I'll allow you to just reintroduce yourself, um, you know, tell everybody what year you are in school and uh, where you're from originally, um, as well as like where you went to undergrad and what you majored in. Okay. Um, my name is Caitlin Edson. I'm a third year at the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry. And basically, I came from Sepulpa, Oklahoma. I grew up there with my three sisters. And after uh, attending high school at Cash Hall, I was able to head to Villanova University in Philadelphia and complete um, my undergrad in mathematics and biochemistry. And then I took a year off. I didn't get into dental school my first year around. And during my year off, I was part-time an elementary school teacher and part-time getting my PhD at the University of Tulsa. Oh, wow. I was able to get my DAT score up a little bit and apply again. And I received my acceptance to the Vill University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry in 2016 so nice awesome well we, we made it here and congrats you know making it through that so I guess what were you getting your PhD in <laughs> well I was trying to do it in chemistry but obviously okay. I didn't finish it because I got into dental school so yeah, nice there you go <laughs> not a bad substitute okay so first thing uh, you know I know a lot of pre dents have this question is what did you do or what were your tips or what kind of resources did you use in order to score well on the DAT well enough to get into school well, everyone studies a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. um, I, the first time around for the DAT, I just studied, you know, at night a couple hours um, and leading up to the test and didn't do too hot. And then the second time around, I took actually two weeks off and treated it like a job eight to five and studied the subjects that I was better at. You know, that's kind of backwards from what you'd think, but I was really good at chemistry and really good at math and really bad at biology. So I left that behind and <laughs> raised my science score um, with the two subjects I was better at. And it worked out in my favor. It raised my overall science score. So with nice. me. Nice. So, uh, you know, I guess you would say focus on your strength and really make those super strengths. And then you kind of mitigate <laughs> the, the, uh, the weaker portions of that. So, do you remember what kind of, uh, I guess, resources that you, did you actually use? Did you use Kaplan course or did you just kind of find some stuff online? So I really think that workbooks um, were awesome. So Kaplan, um, Barron's, and then there was like Crack the Dat. And I just used other people's older versions. I think they worked uh, well. Um, I even used them studying it for it the second time and was able to raise my score um, to points and I so I think it just there was enough information even in those old booklets to do well on it got you got you got you so um you know after you do well in your DAT um you know of course there's other aspects of the application that we want to kind of bolster are there any type of uh pre donor programs I guess specifically at Oklahoma that you know that you guys have to offer to any other prospective students that are looking specifically at Oklahoma or you know any other students that's looking at dentistry in general yeah, so um, one of the main things that um, the University of Oklahoma does is we have what's called these pre-dental um, simulation labs, and our ASDA chapter actually hosts it, and we reach out to all of the Oklahoma pre-dental chapters, so any schools in the state, or at least try to. Um, if not, feel free to contact me, because we'd love to get you guys involved. But um, yeah, so and on that pre um Basically, it's a lab where we have them wax anterior teeth. They're able to do a class one prep. Um, they can ask questions and get answers from other students. They're able to meet our faculty and staff. And I do think this is a big part of um, getting into the University of Oklahoma is meeting, you know, dean of students, dean of mm -hmm. um, admissions. And it's a big, it's a big thing that we offer there. And then, of course, um, in the question and answer session, we're able to answer and give away our old DAT study books and things like that. So nice. Nice. That's pretty good. It seems very in depth. You know, it's a very uh, intense day. <laughs> we try, but also it just kind of helps. Like, hey, it's not all about your application. It's about who you are too. So we want them to feel like welcomed at the school and know that, you know, they can put a face to the name and maybe on that application that dean or that student that's there will remember them. 
Oh, for sure, for sure. I've definitely had that type of a situation coming to do a school visit and then interview and, and seeing, you know, a lot of the similar people and everything. So it just makes you feel a lot more comfortable and at home too. For sure. For sure. Okay, so next question, you know, um, is going through the whole application process. First off, like how many schools do you, if you remember, how many schools did you apply to? Uh, I want to say I was 11. Okay. And then I got an interview at two um, the first year and then at four the second year. And then, of course, chose the University of Oklahoma. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, if you could just take us through the decision on, you know, choosing Oklahoma and then also um, kind of, I guess, taking through like the interview day. How was the interview day showing up and actually going through the process, uh, you know, going through the questions or the tour and everything? So I think my first time interviewing, so that first year when I didn't get in anywhere, um, I wasn't as confident per se, maybe, and didn't um, really think a lot of myself at that time, just in school wise, you know, I was really nervous. And I think, I think they could read that about me, um, you know, and when they ask you a question about your DAT score or about your personal statement or about your GPA, they're not there to ask you about it because they notice like, oh, it's low or, oh, it's bad. It's more like they want to see what you think about it. Wow. And I think I took those questions that first time through, you know, oh my gosh, they don't like it. And then all of a sudden my demeanor would change. And so the second time through, I really told myself, you know, stay confident. This is a huge part of the, you know, this is a process. They just want to know about you, what you have to say about yourself. And I think it really helped. I think they um, liked what I had to say, even though, you know, one of them didn't love my personal statement and I was able to back it up and they loved it by the end of it. So <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I mean, that's how you got to do it. You got to fight for yourself. So um, I guess if you could, you know, if you remember the day, can you take us through how the interview day was? Like, did you show yeah. up? Did you guys have, did you have the interview first? Like, how was it? So, um, it depends on which group you're in, but they kind of split you up into a couple groups. But yes, so you're, um, basically how my day went is you are interviewed by two people at the same time, sitting in the same room, and it actually, um, makes it kind of less stressful with the two people in there. They, there's no, like, awkward silence or anything. Um, that first year there was just one interviewer and one interviewee and it, it kind of got a little awkward, but with the two, I think it made it a lot easier to talk and um, just get through the interview, make you less nervous. And then after that interview, we were kind of at a circle table with um, some fourth years that the school picks out um, themselves, you know, people they know and trust. And I wouldn't say they have a big decision in who gets in and who doesn't, but let's say there's a student they're wondering about and they ask them how their experience was at that round table with the fourth years and each fourth year gets to ask a couple questions, but you're not in there alone. It's about four um, interviewees and then four fourth years asking questions and us answering. So yeah, okay. and then they yeah, served us lunch. <laughs> what were you saying, I'm sorry? And then they served us lunch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> always good. Well, I mean, it's good, I mean, Obviously, for you, you know, you got the interview out the way early, but yeah. it's good to have that, like, group interaction, too, you know, where right. you necessarily feel like, put, you know, like, figured out or fingered out while you're, you know, while people are trying to ask or get a better feel of you, you know, yeah. like that. Okay, so after you finally got into school um, and you actually start your first year curriculum, how was that first year at Oklahoma, you know, from the curriculum to actually getting introduced into the actual dental clinic work? Yeah, so first year is awesome because it's just a lot at one time, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you're not used to it. And no matter how hard your undergrad was, I don't care. It is a lot at one time. But um, I think that was like one of my favorite parts of dental school so far. You know, as a third year, I mean, I'm totally relaxed right now. I'm in clinic. But first year was mostly didactics. Anatomy was rough. But I think one of my favorite parts about first year was just watching myself and others kind of conquer that ability to study for say five subjects that we're about to have a test in that next week. And Hey, you got it all done. I mean, miraculously, but you did it. And I think it's a, a talent that we need for second year. And I think they prepared us well with the uh, amount of didactic courses we had first year. It seemed like a lot, but really it was nothing compared to second year. So oh, nothing. <laughs> 
So yes, that's uh, first year's great. I would say, um, you know, get all your Netflix out of the way as a pre-dent. Um, <laughs> try not to get caught up in it first year, but if you need to, you know, give yourself like segmented times unless, because for me, someone like me, I was procrastinating all the time. So yeah. I couldn't have any distractions like that. <laughs> That's dental school, man. You got to get through sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just got to take a break and, and, and keep your mental sanity about yourself, honestly. I think it's important. So yeah. so how was it uh, transitioning into actual, like, the preclinical classes and then actually getting into the clinic? Were you guys able to, you know, assist and actually see any clinic first year? So I actually think that's one, um, like, unique thing about – um, the University of Oklahoma is that we are able to get into clinic pretty early. So first year, you're able to assist a lot. Um, but second year, you take on your own patients. You do some OD workups and as well as cleanings, you have your own patients. And I think this was super important in that we were able to conquer being nervous around a patient we didn't know and the computer systems and working with the faculty and staff because that's huge. You know, you walk in and they don't know who you are. Um, cause when it comes to third year, you know, you need to be on top of it for your operative and fixed and removable, um, patients. And so you've already got the other stuff behind you, the computer, the staff, the patient, um, contact, you know, you know how to do it all. So you leave the lab work and stuff for third year. Nice. For sure. For sure. For sure. So that's good. You guys get introduced to it pretty early as well. Um, yeah. so I guess is that, would you say that's, uh, you know, I guess the most unique thing about your school or do you, or is there anything else that you kind of want to highlight um, about Oklahoma or your experience there? So um, another, I guess that's one of my favorite things about it, but one of my other favorite things about the University of Oklahoma um, College of Dentistry is that we host um, what's called Kids Day, and I'm sure other schools host it as well, but um, ours is one of the biggest in the country. And this year we were able to serve um, 100 plus students. We weren't exactly able to count all of them because we ended up um, sending them some to private practice, but we were able to um, serve our community and uh, work on 100 plus uh, kids on Kids Day and do cleanings, extractions, and mostly um, work that was you know, if there was pain involved and then if there wasn't pain involved, we were able to give them a cleaning, but that was huge and something exciting that the University of Oklahoma does. So Nice, nice, nice. So last question, we're just going to wrap up with this one. Uh, it's kind of like a fun question. So you can, you can kind of take a little blast to the past. While you're still applying to dental school, if you knew what you know, obviously know what you know now, what is some advice that you would give that version of yourself, that younger version of yourself still fighting to get into school? Oh, man. Okay. Well, I think I'd say it's all going to be okay, and it's going to work out better than you think. So uh, a lot of emotions going through the interview process and going through the applications, and, um, you know, you have this idea for your future self and your private practice and, you know, what you think you're going to do and then you get to school and you start learning about dentistry and it's way more beautiful than you thought it could be. And, um, you know, your thoughts and like visions for yourself change. So, you know, just wait it out, get through it. I know it's a lot and it'll end up being better than you thought in the end. So that's something I wish I could tell myself. I was always a planner, had one way or the highway, and, <laughs> you know, here I am three years later and I'm like, wait, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> It's crazy how the story unfolds, but that's that's a, a great gem that, you know, obviously uh, a lot of people I'm sure need to hear right now as they're stressing yeah. through, been through the applications, taking the DAT and everything. But again, uh, Caitlin, I just want to say, you know, on behalf of future DDS family, Tyler and myself, uh, I just want to say thank you again for taking some time out and speaking with all the pre and all the viewers out there. Uh, yeah. It's been really, really good uh, and very informative. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see it and pass on the word and you know hopefully help out some uh pre-dentals in the on their way to the university of oklahoma nice 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 so for anyone who uh who has a question for you personally about your journey or maybe uh, more questions about university of oklahoma um what i guess what's the best way they can get in touch with you instagram i guess uh yeah or, they can contact me on instagram uh caitlin nichols no spaces and i can we can uh 
anyway, or Oklahoma ASDA actually is a great way okay. to get in contact as well. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. We'll make sure we put those links down in the description yeah. uh, for anybody who definitely wants to reach out and ask you any more personal questions, but uh, that's going to be it, man. Be safe during these times and, and best of luck heading into a fourth year and finishing up. Yeah. Thanks. You too. Yep, no problem. But for everyone else out there, that's going to wrap up the interview. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so you know whenever we post up new content. Um, and if you have any questions for us, head over to Instagram, follow us at underscore future DDS, and send us a DM there. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. But outside of that, it's going to be it till next time. See you guys.